Hello, welcome back to Open. You know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right, tweet us at Bronxnet TV and tweet me too at Rina Valentin. If uh, you're interested uh, in learning about the music industry, uh, we've got the Live the Dot Biz. Uh, that's an organization uh, creating platforms for young people looking to work in the industry. Mm -hmm. And through its networking events, the organization has been able to help as many as 12,000 students mm -hmm. and plan to help many more. Mm -hmm. And joining mm -hmm. us to tell us more about the organization and upcoming behind the Biz Celebrity Musical Panel and Network event we welcome live the dot biz founder walter j takara hi hey <laughs> how you hey, doing hey, hey. <laughs> rocking you it doing? out twelve thousand. that's pretty hot yeah twelve thousand members that includes students and uh independent artists as okay well. so yeah, students yeah. well you know why i think we uh mentioned students yeah. right. I'm a little caught right it's now right. Because <laughs> it's because I know you're a professor right absolutely and so yeah. I the mindset of you even creating this platform to yeah. be able to guide them outside of the classroom absolutely. in the field that they may be interested in absolutely it, yeah and then of course we're here at Lehman College of course and we've got all the of, students of, of, of on course the crew. No, the, but, no it's a high percentage of students trust me uh -huh. uh, but even if you're a student of just life and music in general I, I, I think everybody is a student <laughs> Right? For the most part, well, as you continue I mean, to learn. I know yeah. I am. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Best way to live. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, um, okay, so to walk us through what inspired you to even create this platform. Sure. So I've been in the music industry for some time now, about 15 years, working at different record labels and music publishers. Um, I consulted, you know, 50 Cent, Jasmine Sullivan, uh, Jada Kiss, so many different artists that I've actually had a chance to work with. And then also, at the same time, teaching at a college for the last eight years. So I said, what is the best, what's the best way for me to bring in both worlds, bring in like the mainstream independent, well, industry world with people who want to learn more about it. So I developed Live the Biz in 2016 to be able to have, you know, students and artists that are around the, the community really connect with these major brands and connect with these executives. So this will be our like 15th event. Uh, 15th, 15th wow. event, yeah, over 12,000, 12,000 members. We've had events in New York, LA, and Atlanta. We have one coming up in Nashville. Um, I've had every, probably every music company around the country involved from Atlantic Records, VH1, MTV, Def Jam, Rock Nation, you name it. Uh, and so just really just helping with educating about what they do and also providing opportunities for those that attend these events. Right, and so and, and when you do uh, hold these events, is yeah. it mainly for the artists or is it for the business in, in general, right? Because yeah. a lot of people are always so hung up on being in the front and they don't realize that Absolutely. there's all these other departments that you can just be just as happy uh, <laughs> participating so, in. So great question. So each panel has a different topic. So some are about like, you know, how to be an A&R. Some are about how to attract an A&R. Some are like, you know, music feedback sessions. Some are about how to license your music to TV and film. So some events kind of cater to the musicians and the creatives, and others provide opportunities for those that want to be in the business, that want to be behind the scenes, the manager, the lawyer, et cetera. So we try to cater to both demographics and then merge both worlds by networking. And then, of course, you bring in these uh, top industry artists, uh, yes. legends, yeah. to, uh, I would assume, to enlighten <laughs> them further, right? Because Rod Diggins, I'm like, oh, she wow. Is, she is so amazing. She's actually one of my favorite hip hop artists, period. Male, female, period. Um, I I'm, like that eclectic type style. Yeah, I mean, bars for days. Um, you know, what happened was, so my favorite rapper was Biggie. Right, and then when Biggie passed, there was like this this void of like, who am I gonna now like fan over? And it was Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes was like my favorite dude, just wild and animated. And so then Raw Digger was the first lady of the Flipmo Squad of his collective, and that's why I got caught onto her. And I'm like, man, I love Busta, but whenever Raw Digger's on the track, she's kind of sometimes still in the still in the spotlight. <laughs> so I became a fan since then, and she dropped her debut album on 2000, year 2000, called Dirty Harriet. And I just became such in love with her complex metaphors and her rhyme style and her diversity. So to be able to have, you know, years later, have her be a, a panelist for one of my events is just so inspirational and so humbling. So I'm so excited. Yeah, so excited and, and especially I love that you're, you're highlighting a woman in yes. that field because yeah. that's a tough field to sustain yourself being in the presence of such male dominance, right? Yeah. Because Buster Rhymes, you know, he's an alpha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he he's a, I mean, but the, the thing about it is for him to say, you know what, I want her to be a part of this. She's so dope that I want her to be a part, like the first lady of my squad, says so much. And before that, like she was discovered by Q-Tip, 
uh, when she was just rhyming in the Lyricist Lounge. She also was in a group with Eminem. Uh, they were called the Outsiders, a New Jersey group. But actually, Eminem joined them. So she's had some people she's been sparring with for a long time. You know, she's she's no, you know, she's no slouch. <laughs> I like, I know, I like your term. She's been sparring with. Yeah. Right, because, well, because you surround yourself with certain individuals, all it does is elevate your your execution. Absolutely, it has to. It has to, for sure, for sure. And she elevates them, I feel like, a lot of times. It's been, right, right, right. It's actually the other way around, Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, respectfully, yeah, respectfully, yeah. Well, respectfully, as a woman, I feel that's just the way it is. But I moving agree. on from that. <laughs> I agree. I agree. No debate for me. <laughs> You're a smart man. You're a really smart man. Hey, I try. <laughs> Last time I was here, we actually were promoting a Women of Color event. Last time I was here, about all you know, black female executives in the business. So I'm all for the sisters. Um, and for me, this is my first celebrity panelist. So to have not only a woman, but a black woman come and speak about her journey from both standpoints, I think is really incredible and amazing. So. It's going to be exciting for so sure. So, how does this work? Um, is it primarily um, students, or you, you said it was going to be a yeah. mixture, right? But yeah. um, I mean, there, there has to be a limitation. You're talking about twelve thousand people. You're not going to be able to yeah. accommodate twelve thousand yeah. people. So, usually our events are probably between one hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty each event. Um, so, probably roughly around one hundred and fifty will be able to attend, and those will be college students that want to kind of learn about the business, as well as a lot of artists too that want to hear. You know, we've had executives. A&R, senior vice president, speak on the business side of it. Now we're going to get an artist to see what it's like to sign a major record deal, going through record label politics, you know, her, how does she rhyme, her, her songwriting techniques, her delivery. So this is really like creative but business. Like as an artist, what has she experienced and what are some things that they can also look out for too when they're doing their deals and, and such. So she's been on a major label and she's been independent. So you can talk about both, both sides of the coin here. Nice. And so how yeah. long is this event? And how long is she going to be speaking? Sure. So she's going to be speaking about maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Um, it's from six to nine. So I'll interview her. I have some amazing questions for her about, you know, her, her career, the, the state of female MCs, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Eminem, everything. Um, and then we'll have a networking session where all the people that attend will get to meet and greet with her and take pictures and ask her some direct questions about her career and such. So yeah, what about Remy Ma? You didn't mention Remy Ma. Listen, the BX. Oh, Come oh, on. Of course. <laughs> I mean, I I want to hear her thoughts about it in general, right. um, about what she feels about Remy you Ma. Just, you, you just brought up all the controversy. Well, listen, I'm like, well, that's the recent controversy. C Cardi B's for the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but yeah. she is. She but yeah, is, but Remy is. Ma, Rhapsody, Stefflon, Don, Tink, I want to hear Dreezy. I want to hear about how she feels about everybody, even some of the uh, female battle rappers as well. Um, and I've seen her at battle rap events before, so I know she's a fan of that too. So I have, trust me, I have tons of questions <laughs> to ask from, 90, a, from 90, 1990 to like now. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> she's a vet, right? Absolutely, so it's, yeah. Yeah, like, it's she, so much. There's anybody who's going to know, she's going to know. Yeah, so I'm super excited. She even wanted to come and be a part of this. I met her. She was super cool. I told her what we were about. She was like, I'm with it. Hit me up. And now we're here. Now we're here. That's so sad. <laughs> Woo, well done. Good, Thank you so good much. Good stuff. All Thank right. You, you guys, it. of course. You guys, once again, the behind the biz. Uh, yeah, behind the biz. No mm -hmm. dot at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the Biz Celebrity Music Panel and yeah. Networking Event is taking place on Thursday, September 20th mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. at WeWork Penn Station, which yeah. is located at 315 West 36th Street. And for more information, please visit, this is where the dot comes in, <laughs> live the dot biz slash events. Absolutely. Live the dot biz slash events. There we go. <laughs> All right, you guys stay tuned because Bobby C's weekly sports roundup is coming up next.